What's up guys? Welcome back to Pokemon TCG. Guys, I'm sure you guys know this past Friday, or not this past Friday, two Fridays ago, the new Rebel Clash uh, expansion for Pokemon TCG came out. It's pretty exciting. If you guys missed that, missed the videos already, uh, back on May 1st, the first Friday of the month, uh, we uh, looked at the new two new theme decks, checked them out, played them, they were a lot of fun, and we also opened, and opened up 15 booster packs. Guys, what we're doing today is we are building an expanded deck mostly consisting of Rebel Clash cards. We're going to mix in some of our other cards just to fill it out, uh, just to make it a viable deck and expand the play. But I wanted, to, I wanted to focus mainly on Rebel Clash since this, this is the brand new expansion that just came out. And also, I just want to open up packs. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Uh, we're going to kick it off by opening... Should we open only five? So I only have a thousand... I, didn't, I, didn't, I, I blew a lot of our coins... Uh, Let's open six packs. Let's open six packs. So that way we still have a little money left over. We'll open six packs. And then we've already opened... I've already opened 20 plus packs of these already. And and then we'll just... We'll, we'll jump in and build a deck. But I, I figured this would be fun. Both a pack opening and building a Rebel Clash deck. I don't know. I might never use this deck after today. Uh, but it'll just be fun to build here. Let's see. We got some new stuff here. We got uh, Twin Energy. As long as this card is attached to a Pokemon that isn't... A V or GX that provides double energy. If this card is protect, that's so weird. That's just I would just rather use double colorless energy then. Weird. Uh, Curse shovel. Uh, if Pokemon's knocked out. Yeah, we I think we have this card already, but I think we only have like we have like a reverse hollow or something. And our special card from this time around. Uh, Sigleaf. Uh, if this Pokemon is uh, yeah, we we have Sigleaf. So nothing too excited there. We go ahead and open up the next one here. Uh, really, what I'm hoping to do is pull a V-card. I want to pull a V-card, and then we will for sure use that V-card. Ooh, we got a new stadium. Turfield Stadium. Once during each player's turn, that player may search their deck for an evolution of the grass Pokemon, reveal it, put it in their hand. That's, that's, that's cool. That's cool. Not super great, but that's cool. What do we got here? We got Toxtricity. Super cool. And we got Butterfree. Just a straight-up Butterfree. Nothing exciting about it, but it's Butterfree. That's so weird that that was the face down card. I'll take it though. All right, we got a Pokeball, just the new art on it. Uh, we got a Reverse Hollow Helos here, and and a Grid. We do have, uh, we, yeah, we already have one of these as well. Uh, it has a pretty cool ability though that you can search your deck for a Pokemon Tool Reveal and put it again. It's pretty cool uh, energy though, or ability. Not energy, ability. It's pretty cool. Alright, let's see. We got Mr. Mime, Glarian Mr. Mime. Nothing new from the flips here. Uh, what do we got here? We got Glarian Perserker. Nothing new from that pack at all. Just some additional cards that we'll use. This 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 deck, I, I want it to be... It's going to be a multiple typing deck. But I want to try and keep it to only like two typings. So that way we aren't completely out of hand. Uh, let's see. Well, we got a Nugget. You can play this card only if you drew it from your deck at the beginning of the turn. Before you put it into your hand, draw three cards. That's a draw three draw three item card. That's actually pretty cool. Reverse Hollow too. That's actually a pretty cool card there. I'm not gonna lie. And what do we get here? Spirit Tomb. Discard the top card of each player's deck. That just okay. That's just to be a dick there. Uh, but one damage counter on your opponent's active Pokemon for each Pokemon in your oh. One for each Pokemon in your discard pile, but that's never gonna get too high for me because I tend to keep my expanded decks pretty low on Pokemon. This is our last one. Hopefully we'll pull a V-card. If not, we have pulled some from Rebel Clash already. If you guys missed it on the 15-pack opening day, our Flood of Four. Reverse Hollow Metapod here. Uh, pretty cool ability here that you can evolve your first turn or the turn that you play it on. So you can throw counterpiece out there. You can throw a Metapod and then throw a Butterfree. Pretty cool. Let's see. Give me something good. Not something good. All right, guys. Let's. I lied to you. We're going to get one more. You know what? I lied to you. We're going to get three more. We're going to spend all my money right now. We're gonna spend all my money. It's fine. We can easily earn it back. This is this isn't a lot. This this isn't bad. And we're we're gonna open this up. I'm hoping for a V card, and then we'll build our deck. We'll build our deck here. We pulled a Caterpie with the adaptive evolution as well. Yo, you throw down Caterpie and you got Metapod and Butterfree with that adaptive uh, evolution. You can have Butterfree first turn. That's insane. Uh, Dooblade, just the Reverse Hollow, and give me something good. A Ludicolo. This attack does 60 damage for each prize card you have taken. That's that's actually pretty cool. That's pretty solid there. Pretty solid. All right, what do we got coming in this time? Nothing new so far. Uh, I got a new uh, Zatu. Got a new Growlithe. A nice, very beautiful Reverse Hollow here. And 
We got Trevent here. Uh, see Bomb and Shadow Cage during your opponent's opponent can't treat. Pretty great. I don't think we have the uh, the other stages that Pokemon though. And the last one, we're probably not going to pull a V card, but that again, that's not a big deal. Not a big deal, but we did get some pretty cool pulls here. We got did get pull a Lombre though. Once during your turn, if you drew this card from your deck at the beginning of turn, your bench is at full. You may put it into your hand. You can put it onto your bench. Oh shoot! You can just put it out there without even without even getting a low tad. That's pretty cool. And Seismitoad for our final Pokemon here. All right, so here's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna jump over to our collection. We're already in our collection, of course. We're gonna go to here. We're gonna uh, search just just Rebel Clash. That's all we're searching here. Uh, and then I'm going to show you guys the tile. This is all of our Rebel Clash cards that we pulled. Uh, and we're just going to take a gander at what we got here. See, we, we do have... Uh, let's actually... First, let's filter just the cards uh, from here. So, we do have some good ones. We we have we have Inteleon V, which is a very solid card, as well as Inteleon VMAX. Both double solid cards. Uh, so I think for sure these cards should go in there because they're, they're OP cards. Uh, but we have to think of what typing we're going to pair it with. That That's going to be the big thing here. Uh, we could throw a Ninetales V in there because it only needs one fire, but I don't know if I if I for sure want to do that. Uh, because here's the other thing I'm thinking. I think I really want to use that Butterfree. I don't know why other than just it looks fun, If especially if you can set that up first turn and you can already burn. And I, I just think that, I think that sounds stupid fun. Uh, also, Ludicolo here, so that that's two grass. Because Spirited Rushdown, that's pretty solid. If you've taken a couple, you can do... After, if you if you take out one tag team Pokemon, you're doing 60 times 3 damage. That's that's already 120 damage. No, 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 that's 180 damage there. That's... I think that's fun. So those could be two Grass types that we throw in there. <clears throat> and then if we mix it in with the Inteleon V, those are our, those are our Water types. So we're putting in Grass and Water... Uh, Putting in grass and water, although a grass electric team would be pretty cool. Uh, or no, a water electric team for because I was thinking of, of of our stadium card that heals thirty damage, but that's a water electric. So we could do water electric, and we could could say no to Butterfree and Lombre, and we could instead pull in electric cards, which we do have an electric, we do have a, a V card for uh, Pinkurchin, uh, which if this Pokemon's in the active spot and it's damaged by opponent's attack, flip three coins for each head, put three damage counters. So you could put 90 damage just for getting attacked. It's actually pretty good. We could go. We could go water. I don't know. I, I'm leaning now towards a water, a water uh, electric deck. Because we could also put Voltorb and Electrode in there, and I think I would be okay pulling out like a GX card uh, just to help round this up from an earlier, uh, from an earlier expansion. Uh, you know what? Let's get into building. Let's get into building here. Let's get in to building our deck. So I, I don't want this video to be too stupid long. So we're going to go ahead and filter to Rebel Clash. Uh, we're also going to go ahead and filter to Water in Rebel Clash. And let's let's see our Water. Mr. Rhyme, prevent all effects of your opponent's attack except damage done to your Pokemon that have energy attack. That's a pretty stupid ability. Uh, I mean, it's not, it's, it's not a stupid, it's a good ability, but it's not helpful to us. Flip three coins, this attack does this. It could do max damage of 150, but it could also do zero damage. Uh, but he has 110 health, so honestly, we'll throw Mr. Mime and Mr. Rhyme in there. Just for now, we may pull them later, but for now we'll throw them in there. We do have this whole line here to Seismitoad. If your opponent's active Pokemon is confused, this attack does 120 more damage. You could confuse, do 30 damage, and then do 150 damage total on, on top of that. Oh, no, 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 no. If it's confused, it does 120 plus 120. We'll throw them in there too. We'll also throw a rare candy in there to help them ha to make help make them happen. Uh, of course, Inteleon and Inteleon VMAX. So there we go. So then let's also filter to uh, electric types. Uh, per Perkin is the one that's going in there. Uh, Morpeko, uh, choose one of your opponent's active Pokemon attacks during your opponent's next turn. That opponent can't use that attack. That's it's okay. Toxicity, we did just pull them. This attack does 20 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. Your act as a Pokemon, uh, act Pokemon is now poisoned. That's pretty cool. Throw you in there and throw Toxel in there. Who do you... You, you do nothing. It's on, it's on someone else's card where they give, like, special ability? I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure they can be like a special ability for a Pokemon. Maybe that's a different Charbug that I've seen. 
Uh, Hilolisk, uh, we don't want to use you. Honestly, right now we have 10 Pokemon, and that's that's actually a pretty pretty solid. I, I'd like to actually put one more in here. Uh, honestly, let's get rid of this right fast, and let's put uh, a GX. I have I have an Electro GX. This that's what I'm thinking, just to like round this team out with something else. When did the when did these six bad guys come out? Where you weren't Sword and Shield, you weren't Sword and Shield. You were probably most likely... They, they were most likely Sun and Moon. Yeah, these were Sun and Moon. Because I... This is a Rebel Clash. This this is a Rebel Clash. Rebel Clash is what we're sticking to. Rebel Clash is what we're sticking to. We're just, let's just search Rebel Clash V Pokemon. That we have. Uh... I mean, I don't think this is a bad team. I think we could, I think we could add just a little bit more to this... Uh, with just another, uh, just another electric type. I think this is what we should do here. Just add another, uh, flip a coin of heads, discard an energy from one of your opponent's active Pokemon. This Pokemon also does 30 damage itself. Does 120 damage. That's not too bad for only two energy. So I think you will be my other compatriot with both reverse hollows there. Cool. All right. So you guys chill for a second. I'm going to build the rest of this deck real fast. All right, so I'm a big stupid person who muted my mic and didn't have it recorded for the bit right here. So we're just going to talk through this uh, post-recording and we'll get to where I unmuted the mic in a minute here. So size until we threw in here, we did add in a few extra cards here that I wasn't thinking that I was going to add at first. Uh, but I did need them to kind of fill out the deck, such as Morpeko right here, added him in with his Torment. Uh, we don't really end up using him, so he might, he would, he would probably be pulled out of this deck. But our main hero of this deck is that Teleon VMAX. Uh, we also, also threw in uh, SQ here, which is actually pretty solid. His abil ability allowing him to take 60 less damage if he has full health. So if you get hit with a 60 damage attack, you take zero health until they do more than 60 damage. So actually a pretty solid uh, Pokemon for us to set up at the beginning uh, while we set up other Pokemon. Uh, really nothing else added there. Now, for the most part, I tried to keep all my trainer items specifically just to Rebel Clash, but some of them we had to go away from it, like such as the town map. Super, super useful. Uh, I know a trainer card, not from Rebel Clash, so I threw it in there. Uh, we also threw some potions in there. We threw the tool scrapper in there in lieu of the field blower, uh, which was really nice. Uh, we did end up throwing the uh, the nugget in there, uh, which is just a little fun little card, draw three. We, we did go with the uh, capacious bucket instead of the professor's letter since it is from Rebel Clash, because like I said, using as many Rebel Clash cards as we can. Then such as the, the incense, the uh, Pokemon catcher, Rare Candy, Pokédex, all of those, none of those come from Rebel Clash, but I felt they were needed to make this deck viable, uh, as including our Stadium card. Our boss's orders, though, this did come from it, so if you missed that being pulled uh, in a video, go check out our, our Pool 15, as well as our two uh, theme deck videos from last Friday. We also threw Dan in there, because Dan is the man, he's great, and we also threw in the Cursed Shovel there. But otherwise, that's it. We have a Zacian, uh, oh, we also have eight nine of each energy we have the zacian coin uh we have the uh, lightning water deck box and then just the uh the nice standard uh little cards there this is also called the clashing rebels uh expanded deck here so we'll actually jump in here and see how it goes i unmute my mic like a minute into this battle or so so i'm gonna just talk with you guys here what's happening since i i, I did record this last night but I do still remember a bit of it. Uh, some of the interesting things that happened here kind of sucked uh, right here at the beginning, just just as you're going to see with any expanded deck jumping into a game. Uh, we do let them go first, of course. Uh, also, I comment on this part how much I really like their uh, their their cards, their their card, card skins. Wow, that was a hard word. Uh, so here we're setting up SQ. Like I mentioned, wanting to do there to uh, protect him. So this guy right here, his first damage can only do his first move can only do 20 damage. So we're protected for at least three turns before he can do more damage. Uh, that can actually hurt SQ allows setup. Try and get rid of his energy there to make it just an additional turn. Didn't make that happen, but some energy there. We're going to use Cynthia to uh, get ourselves hopefully some basic cards. Uh, unlucky, unlucky, and pull on the basic cards. We do have Red's Challenge though, which we could potentially use. Uh, but we'll see what goes from here. See what happens. He's going to end set up. He's going to go for the draw three. Very smart. He's got a. He's already got three basics on his on his bench. So he is right now. He is pulling better cards than we are. 
Zero damage done to us because he can only do 20 there, but he is quickly going to be able to get that up. We immediately draw the Nugget, which means we get to immediately use it and draw three cards, which is really cool just getting to see how that works. Might just be a fun card to just throw in a deck. We pull our town map, which is useful. But honestly, I, I might be... Our Inteleon V is in there, which kind of sucks because he's kind of the guy we need. He is our ace in this deck. Uh, but I might honestly throw the Nugget into some other decks just for the fun little just random draw three that you can get. I'm going to go ahead and use Red's Challenge here uh, to go ahead and uh, grab our uh, Doxel so that way we can get Toxtricity uh, level uh, ev evolved here. Um, just because he, he's going to be a, a decent Pokemon for us to set up with Hammer in as well as his uh, Poison Shot uh, will be pretty useful here. Let's we'll see where we're going here. Because we're looking at the damage. Uh, sadly, that his uh, GX does not have a weakness. Uh, at all, so us going in with Lightning isn't going to be great, uh, but uh, Sobble and Charizard do seal it's not having a weakness to Metal Pokemon instead. Uh, so that was 120 damage, but it went ahead and reduced 60 damage, so we only took 60 damage there. Uh, so he is going to be able to start damaging us. We pull our VMAX, which would be great if Inteleon was not in there, and we could have that set up right now. Oh, that would be amazing if we had Inteleon in here. So we have Toxtricity here. Uh, we want to try and get this set up as quickly as we can, uh, but but we also we're gonna go ahead and retreat here so that we can go ahead and do the 20 damage, do 20 damage to everyone, uh, tank a hit, uh, and then go from there because he's only gonna do 120 damage. So we have to start doing something here, uh, otherwise we're kind of screwed. Honestly, what I probably should have done there was keep uh, Toxtricity on the bench. Uh, and just let a few die here, so that way we get enough energy on him to do 90 damage. Um, but right now, looking at this deck, it's like they, they got set up much quicker than us. Uh, which is the way Pokemon TCG goes. If you don't get set up quickly, it can go downhill very quickly. So let's see here. They're going to go ahead and take 20 damage, or uh, 10 damage for their poison, which we hit on them last time. Go put energy on there, and then we'll go ahead and use uh, Marnie here to go ahead and get ourselves 5 new coins. Or 5 new coins, 5 new cards. Uh, nothing too exciting. Uh, let's see here. I, I, I think we end up going uh, to get the energy first and then go from there. Right now I'm just kind of looking at like what's on our bench, what would be mostly useful, what energy cards we need. So we're going to go energy and then get the additional 20 damage from our uh, Pokemon tool card there from our band. Then we'll go ahead and do 20 damage to everyone. Hopefully live to see another day here. If we could pull Seismitoad, it'd be great. Then so we could use that rare candy there. Do we already have it? Might be stupid here. I'm pretty sure we already have it, actually. Yeah, we do. My screen's really small that I'm seeing this on. We have already pulled Seismitoad there. Uh, so we need Tim pull to pull it. But he goes ahead and resets our hand here, making it very upset. We did pull uh, Pinker in, though, so it's not over yet. It is not over yet. We do have our Rough Seas, uh, which would help him as well. Uh, so I'm saying we're, we're not going to use it. We're not going to throw it in there. No real need to, because it's only going to heal his Pokemon. And since Rough Seas heals 30 across the board, it would heal all of his Pokemon instead of just one. Uh, so it's not going to be super useful to us right here. And, oh, I just looked up. All right, I saw the mic isn't recording. So uh, I'm going to go now and uh, go back to uh, Chandler in the past here. Uh, have fun. This video is worthless. Guys, I just noticed that my mic was muted. That's what I just noticed. I just noticed that my mic was muted. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's so... That's so upsetting. That's so upsetting my mic was muted. Oh no. You guys didn't miss too much. You, you didn't miss too much. So we we can talk back what happened here. Uh, <laughs> that's so upsetting. Oh, I'm so frustrated. I'm so frustrated. I might I might I might dub over that. So that might be there. Damage decreased to zero. That's solid there. Uh, ooh, he's gonna go for the switch out. That's actually really smart. Oh, we pulled the rare candy. That's what I was hoping for. 
I was really hoping we were gonna pull a pull rare candy. That was super lucky. All right. Uh, yeah, we'll put energy on you. I think that's the play here. Once they kill you, we'll come in and we'll at least do 30 damage to confuse our active Pokemon. Keldeon's gonna do a lot of damage to us. Damage decrease. We're still safe for now. Still safe for now. Uh, we'll put that onto you and then we'll throw that onto you as well. And we'll be able to come in and at least do 120 damage. It's not gonna kill Keldeon. That's why I think we're gonna go for the confusion first. I think we're gonna go for the confusion first and just hope against hope that something happens. Secret sword still not. Oh, still do. Okay, they started doing damage this time. Started doing damage. Uh, no reason to use a potion on them because they're they're dead either way. We do need to hope that we pull an energy card. We need to pull an. Well, we don't actually. We have two turns to pull energy because we want to confuse Keldeon first. We want to confuse Keldeon first because it's it's our only chance of one shotting here and getting some good damage done. So this is the unnecessary pool here. All right, so we're gonna do 30 damage. We're gonna confuse our active Pokemon. What is your uh, knocked out move three basic energy cards? Uh, okay, we need to also pull a tool scrapper, which won't really help us because we need to pull an energy card next. We need to pull energy card. No, we pull Cynthia. Cynthia is what we want. We want Cynthia. And then we want to pull a tool scraper. Because it can be either energy. It can be either energy, which is really good. About so, is what I tried to look at when I was looking at these cards, is making sure it's something that was needed a specific energy, but could go with other energy as well. They pulled a Pokemon Center Lady. They're gonna go and ah uh, heal all status effects. Uh, well played, well played. That's gonna be a GG. That is the GG. Keldeon is such a good card, guys. Keldeon is so good. We didn't even pull energy. That blows. Didn't even pull energy. There is the uh, the Rebel Clash expanded deck, guys. Be sure to come back next time and don't don't leave just yet because I do want to tease next week's episode. I am going to show you some of those cards. I talked about them earlier, but you didn't see them. So go ahead and hang out here uh, as soon as this guy decides to end the game. I don't know what he's doing. Why are you Why are you pulling cards, my dude? Why are you pulling cards when you? Why, what are you doing? You're just you're just trying to crushingly defeat me. I don't like to sit around for that. When people when people do this and try and crushingly defeat me and like use up all their cards, I just leave because you you already deal 170 damage. That is well, that pisses me off to know. It doesn't piss me off. It, it's just irritating, and I'm just like I'm just not gonna sit around and wait for you to like set up your entire. We finished a tournament. Uh, so before you leave, don't leave, don't leave. Hang out, hang out. Let me show you. Let me show you, because we're building a Fighting-type deck. And let me show you some of the cards that we are going to be bringing into that Fighting-type deck here. Because I'm very excited to set it up. You're seeing this right here, that's cool, whatever, that's fine. But, let me show you some of the good cards that we got here. And we'll, and we'll show these off in more detail in our next stream. Just going straight through here, I'm just going to flip through these really, really fast. We have Aerodactyl, Buzzwool, Flygon, Landrock, Machamp! We got Zero, which is the, this is the, this is the card that you can all get this, uh, this, uh, month for the reward challenge for multiplayer. Uh, we're just flipping through these guys real fast and then we're gonna end also. We got that next tight team. And then there's just this beautiful card. Just this beautiful card. Let me flip so I'm looking at it better. Guys, be sure to come back next week as we build our fighting team decks. These, these type of expanded decks where we, we theme them, we have an idea to them typically go better than the random ones we want to build but i just want to show off some of the rebel clash cards guys let me know what are you doing with your rebel clash cards what have you done with them have you done anything cool with them have you made rillaboom go if so let me know in the comments down below thank you so much for watching please be feel to subscribe uh hit that like button check out the videos from earlier this week pokemon D D on its uh, second episode uh, came out, uh, no, first episode came out this week. Second episode comes out next Sunday. Check it out. If you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, you guys subscribe and check out the videos coming out on the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.